Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm the Plants Meow, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from the Plantier, and it's filled with Anthurium, which I'm thrilled and super excited about. So, as you probably know by now, I have been steadily, no, steadily is not the word, tumbling down a hill quickly and gathering every Anthurium I can. Um, so. so, as you know from my first video, I have quickly acquired quite a few Anthuriums, and <laughs> Initially, when I started collecting them, I had zero idea about their care and the potting mix I was using for them. It was not ideal. In my first plant with me video, don't listen to the ones where I put the anthuriums in and I do apologize about. I am going to be doing an anthurium care video. I have since then done so much research. So I'm going to discuss all about their care or what I've learned, um, the ideal potting mix that I've actually come across and developed into what I think is good for them. I actually have, I feel like, a lot of interesting things that I have learned about them that people may not, you know, quite realize that they need for their care. So I'm actually excited to delve into that. And I'll not only be telling you how to care for them, but really going into why those certain things are needed for them. So it's easier for you when you think about them and your thought process behind it into buying certain things for them or the way you just care for them. So I'm really excited about that. It's something that I'm gonna film in a couple weeks and then I'll put out there for you guys. And I really hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, here is my box of Anthuriums. <laughs> So in this box, there's actually five anthuriums, and I'm really excited. So I'm going to chop into this before you get too bored. All right, so this is the inside of the box. Okay, so I'm so sorry for this change of scenery, change of outfit, pretty much everything. So <laughs> what basically happened is the new camera that I got overheated, and so now we're here. It's about a week later. I've already potted up my plants, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you them. Um, again, I'm so, so sorry about that. So the first one that we have here is the Anthurium Bulletos. So this one I actually had to cut the tips off on top because they were really browned and burned from just being outside. It's really hot out. Even though I got my brother to bring it in pretty much as soon as it came, it still got a bit crispy. But that's okay. It looks still beautiful as is. And it's got two other beautiful leaves as well. And it's actually growing one right over here. So that's really exciting. And a lot of these new leaves that are growing, I honestly thought they were messed up because the sheath looked really bad. But the leaves themselves look okay. I don't think there's any damage to them, which is awesome. So I can't wait. I actually have, I think there's three plants that are growing new leaves at the moment. So that's super exciting. <laughs> so just look at that. Uh, just how stunning is that leaf? And I was really inspired to actually get this particular plant because I normally wouldn't have got one like this. I think it's beautiful now that I've actually seen it and I have one, but there's an Instagram user. Her name is Elkai Tower. She has a bull toss herself. I absolutely adore how hers looks, so I really want one for myself. Completely adore this one. I love how it gets wider here. I can't wait to see when they grow and just see how wide they get. I think it looks really cute. I love the shape of this entire plant. <laughs> But also, I highly recommend checking out her channel and Velvet Jungle, I believe it's PDX. I absolutely love both of them. They have amazing Instagrams, stunning plants, and their collections have very much inspired mine. There have been some that I've gone out my own and got, obviously, but other ones I've just seen and I just think, wow. That is beautiful. I want more people to have this plant. I want this plant, so I get the plant. <laughs> so people like them are bad for my budget. But honestly, I'm so happy with them. I think, just look how beautiful this is. I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. It really just feels nice to have this little jungle growing. And this plant room that I'm actually in right now, I've already filmed another video in it just because it was really rainy one day. But just being in this room 
just makes you feel like I'm a little jungle. So it's really awesome. If you've seen my houseplant tour, you'll notice that as well. At that time, I kept a lot of my anthuriums in this glass case that's behind me. But at the moment, I've been getting some bigger ones, so obviously I can't do that. I have to move some stuff around. So it's actually really exciting, and I can't wait to just kind of see what I do with everything. <laughs> okay, so this next one, I don't want to play favorites, but this is my Anthurium Metallicum. So there's another one that feels really amazing, and I can't wait to show you that one. But this one, I feel like looks-wise, probably my favorite one out of the bunch. I think it's absolutely stunning. And it's got its little new leaf here that's seriously about to pop out. Like the tiniest little portion is left inside its sheath. So I'm really excited to see how this one will grow, if it'll be around the same size, if it'll be bigger. It, they haven't been here long, so they obviously haven't got accustomed to my conditions. This new leaf was already there when I got it. So I can't wait to see this leaf and future leaves. And I am gushing. I gush a lot. So, <laughs> but just look at this. Actually right here, it kind of, it looks a bit like the queen almost, but it is lighter in color. She's actually very dark. But the Queen Ethereum also comes in even darker form than the one I have, which is one that I would like to get, the darker narrow form. I think that'd be really cool. And speaking of natural variations, I did just purchase a Anthurium Forgetii from someone that was purely velvety, not much veining to it, and I'm really excited about it because it looks and it's a and it's pretty decent size as well, so it looks really nice. I can't wait. I have the one with more silver veins in it, and honestly, the reason that happens is really, and I'll go into this more in a future video, when I talk about identifying anthuriums and the markers that they have, and how natural variation plays effect in that, but really, depending on climate and other things, your plants can look different. They can have slightly different colors, petioles, and their their veining may look different. It's just things like that that just change. So when you see the Anthurium forgetii, it's not classed as two different plants. When you see the more velvety one with the more silver one, it's still the same plant. So it's actually really interesting to just kind of dive into that. I still wanted both forms, even though I know it's the same plant, because I'm absolutely obsessed with my forgetii. There's something about the teardrop shape I really love. While I'm absolutely head over heels for heart-shaped plants, the Anthurium forgetii is just a really stunning form. And I'm just gonna go get that just to show you because I'm just geeking. Okay, so here's my current Anthurium forgetii. This is the one with more silver veins. You'll find that there are Anthurium forgetiis that are typically just more velvety all around. And they're absolutely stunning. They're both beautiful. And I just want them both in my collection. But just how absolutely stunning is this one? Like, ugh. It's hard to pick favorites, but I feel like this one is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait till it gets really big. It's going to just look so amazingly stunning. <laughs> and I'm really excited to show all of you the progress of all of these. So excited about this one. Okay, so another one that I wanted to show you is they're calling it an Anthurium Shelby hybrid mix. So I think it's really cute. It kind of reminds me of my Crystalline and Magnificum, but it has more red on the side. And I'll definitely have to show you a close-up of this one because it's harder to, <laughs> to see but because it is so small, but it feels so good and it's really cute. I absolutely think it's the cutest thing. If you look at this little video clip right now, you'll see why I think it's so cute. It's just a really adorable plant and it's quite a darker form than I'm used to. I don't know if these are just newer leaves, but they all look pretty dark and I think it's quite stunning. I think it's gonna grow up to look really elegant and I cannot wait to see what it's gonna look like. I say that about all my plants, but that's because I get really excited about that fact. <laughs> Okay, so this rough looking one here is my Anthurium Angamarcanum, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I just call it my little warrior leaf at the moment. I'm excited for it to produce a new leaf, but at this moment, this is what I got. I still think it's stunning. I love how wide it looks here. I think it's really beautiful. I'm not sure if it was just shipping stress, got a little bit messed up, but I think it looks phenomenal. 
Um, the only thing I worry about, because I've never seen before, is it has these like sooty black spots at the bottom of the leaf. And I'm not sure what that is. Um, hopefully nothing. Maybe he's just caught something in the breeze one day. I don't know. But hoping that's nothing because I really love this plant. So I'm very, very excited about it. <laughs> and this one, um, it gets a lot of confusion with the marmoratum. They look very similar. To me right now, seeing the pictures of the marmoratum, they don't quite look alike right now, but it could just be because this one's in a rougher form. So I'm actually excited to see what the new leaf will actually look like, and I'm assuming it'll look pretty cool. Okay, so this is the one that I was talking about that feels amazing. So <laughs> this is actually it was labeled as an inferior marmoratum and I was sent a website that did show it listed as that, but on the website it does disclose that while these are imported under this name, they are most likely not that plant. So it doesn't look like anything like the other marmoratums I've ever seen. So I'm assuming it's not that plant. I don't know if it's an undescribed anthurium or if it is one and I just don't know which one because it does look like a couple other ones that I suspect it might be, but I'm not quite sure. But honestly, the way this feels, I, <laughs> it's really, really hard to describe. It feels like that really soft, like sleepwear, <laughs> sleepwear, like pajama pant fabric. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to do a close up right here of it where you can see it. It just, ugh, it's so silky smooth. I love touching this one. I know I should probably stop touching it because it's probably like take your grubby hands off of me, but I really, really adore this one. And I love how it has up here on top this little spatial area where the sinus is because it reminds me of the regale and I love that. And I think it's very stunning, very beautiful plant absolutely thrilled at the quality of this one. I think it looks amazing. During shipping, there was a new leaf forming, so it did get a little crispy up here. Hopefully, um, it doesn't impact a lot of the plant. It looks like a huge leaf that's coming out right now. So I suspect that, honestly, for the most part, it's probably gonna be completely fine. And I cannot wait to see what this one looks like. It's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> And I love me some heart-shaped leaves. I don't know if they're gonna get longer or whatnot, but oh, uh, gosh, I cannot wait to see what this one's gonna look like. <laughs> it looks so big right now, because I have it so close to the camera. Hi. <laughs> and actually, I was debating on showing you guys this last one. It's not from this particular unboxing, but I really just wanna kinda pop it into one of my videos somehow. I did just get it. It was a single plant. I don't usually film unboxings if it's just a single one. And oh, I absolutely love it. So let me go get that for you and I'll be right back. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so this is actually my Queen Anthurium, so the Anthurium Warroquianum and Anthurium Waterburianum hybrid. So, <laughs> This I just received. It feels so good. I'm all about the texture right now. I'm sorry if I'm just geeking out over that, but oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. And I thought this would look quite different. I know NSC Tropicals have been selling a lot of these. The picture they ever actually advertise on their eBay is this very large water burianum. It is not the hybrid. If you go into their description, you can see this plant. So it's not going to be that huge, wide, big plant. It's going to be this, which is freaking beautiful. <laughs> so I would highly recommend getting this one. I don't know if it's quite as temperamental as the Queen Anthurium, but I'm really excited to find out. I'm already in love with my little daughter here. I don't know what to name her yet. My queen is actually named Anastasia, so <laughs> I feel like she needs a really pretty name as well. But I love, love, love this one. So actually when I was buying it on eBay, I noticed a new leaf unfurling and that is this one. So it is a bigger leaf, but because it was still quite vulnerable and not hardened off, it did get a little messed up in shipping, 
which is a little unfortunate, but honestly, none of us are perfect, so I don't mind that one bit. I'm really excited um, just to have this plant. Just look how beautiful this is. And I'll show you a close-up here of her, and she's just really pretty, just super velvety. I <laughs> am surprised how good she looks. It just looks like a very textured queen with less vein prominence. So, oh, uh, really, really pretty. Very excited. And uh, I just wanna like hold this one all day. Like, oh, uh, I just want her around, you know? Like, I don't know if that's really weird or not, but I'm very excited about this one. <laughs> if you can't already tell <laughs> how nutty I am about it. So, but yeah, I just, uh, uh, can't stop staring. I'm gonna take its new leaf out so it's not being poked by the other one. So you can just see the difference right there, side by side. Absolutely stunning. She's a sweetheart. I feel like she's not gonna be as temperamental. She's like, mom, no, I got this. We're, we're in it together. If you make me happy, I make you happy. And that's what I feel like we have a connection already. I know that sounds a little crazy. If you watch my last Camillus has a plant with my monster at High Constellation, you know I talk all about my dang connection. I probably got super annoying about it and I'm sorry. But yeah, that connection. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I didn't drag on too much about you geeking out over this and if you actually like me filming in this room please let me know if you prefer my kitchen because I know a lot of you love my cabinetry <laughs> so I can stay in there guys I could stay in there if you like the change up every once in a while please just let me know if you prefer it all together I can film in here as well so I would love some feedback that would be great yeah so let me know what you guys think of these plants if you have any of them if you know what this one could be so for now um it's going to be called I believe marmoratum number one because that's what it is imported as that's its import name really so i'm going to call it that and it feels amazing i'm sorry i can't tell you what it's really called so you can go out and buy one for yourself but hopefully we can decipher this down below maybe not but honestly, it's worth a try. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. I post every Wednesday. And I really want to thank you all so much for watching. Bye.